Hi, my name is Cameron Urai. Welcome to a Heart for Muslim video series. I'm from a Muslim background. I'm from Iran. I grew up in Iran until I was 30 years old that I came to United States. And I recorded my testimony. I encourage you to watch it. It's called If God. I'm sure we will send you a link or we will provide the link in our website and um, watch that testimony. This course is called A Heart for Muslim. Being from a Muslim background, I've been asked many times, how do you evangelize a Muslim? You know, I lived as a Muslim. I lived in, uh, under Islamic regime. And I have so many stories and so much experience about being a Muslim. And when I'm asked, how do you evangelize a Muslim? My very first response always was, get closer to Jesus. I'm not really joking. That's the best answer that I could give to anyone that wants to really know how to evangelize a Muslim. Get closer to Jesus. Why? The reason is the more of Jesus we have, the more of Jesus we could give to a Muslim. My friend, people, churches, they kept asking me, how do you really evangelize a Muslim? And I said, okay, I'm going to record a TV series, a video series, and go through steps as, as much as I can. I went in my prayer and I started to spend some time with the Lord, and this is how I started. I said, Lord, just tell me how to evangelize, how to lead a Muslim to you. I just, people are asking me, and I want, to give, I want to give steps to them. And that comes from a good heart, you know. I, I need to find some steps. And in my heart, I heard that the Lord said very loud and clear, why would you want to lead them to me? Why would you want to lead Muslim to me? And I know the voice of the Lord. It still comes through filter, but I know his voice. And I was really shocked. I said, what do you mean? Why would I want to lead them to you. Isn't that a great commission to lead all people to you? Isn't that why you <laughs> send your disciples? And I said, you know what? I don't want to lead them to you. People are asking me. I need to give them answer. Then I said, I'm sorry. I do want to lead them to you. Of course, I want to lead them to you. But I need to give some answers step by step. And how do you lead them? How would I lead them to you? Or how can we lead them to you? And in my heart, again, I heard why would you want to lead them to me? It just like, you know, goes on and on and on. And the Lord did not say anything, and I had to really wait for a long time. And then I, then I heard this in my heart. I want to lead them to you. Can you imagine you're talking to the Lord, and you're saying, Lord, how can I lead my mother to the Lord? How can I lead my neighbor to the Lord? How can I lead a kebab owner store restaurant slash restaurant owner that is a Muslim? To the Lord, how can I even sometimes lead my, uh, my our children to you? How can we do this? And the Lord will, in response, will tell you, "I'm I'm I'm trying to lead them to you," and you're like, almost you get confused. Like we're supposed to lead all people to you, and you're saying you are trying to lead them to me. I said, "What do you mean you are trying to lead Muslims to me?" He said, open your heart. Then everything was like, I saw the light. I said, wow. As a believer of Jesus Christ, we try so hard to lead people to Jesus Christ that they may be saved, that they may have peace, and all those amazing, beautiful things, the packages that they come. We lead them to Jesus. You know, when I said all those beautiful package, and all, I also remember the cross that they have to carry. But that's another story. You lead people to the Lord, and you want to lead people to the Lord, because it's a great commission, not a great commandment, great command in His love. It's a great commission, and the Lord tells you He wants to lead them to you, and He says, open your heart. This is what I saw. We as a believer, we are trying very hard, out of a good heart, to lead people to Lord Jesus Christ and get them 
to invite Jesus to come to their heart. And Jesus is standing there and he's trying hard to lead those people to our hearts first. And once they get there, once a Muslim comes to my heart and your heart, like that means that, what does it mean? That means that when we allow the Lord to impart love in our heart, meaning you're inviting them to your heart, from there they will be led to Jesus Christ. And that's just the beginning of a heart for Muslim. That's what we call this whole program, a heart for Muslim, not how to evangelize a Muslim. Let me say this, let me mention this. Once we learn this principle and this beautiful virtue from God or lesson or whatever we call it, once we learn that, you could apply that to you for your spouse, for your children, for your neighbor, for everybody and for Jesus himself, that Jesus would even have a bigger place in our heart. I, I'm going to do another series called A Heart for Jesus or A Heart Heart Connect. I didn't pick the name yet, but I think I'm going to just call it A Heart for Jesus. This is A Heart for Muslim. That will be A Heart for Jesus. We will email you guys if you sign up for our newsletter later on. We will email it to you when that course is out. But let me go back. Once we learned this principle of inviting, G inviting people into our heart. See, we invited Jesus into our heart. That's why you're watching this program. You want to help other people to invite Jesus into their heart. You know, we invited Jesus to our heart. And to me, the moment you start to invite Jesus, the moment you, you invited Jesus to your heart, he will start working in your heart. That's what he did with me for about 21 years so far. This is the year 2021. I gave my heart to the Lord in January 21st, 2000. It was the best moment of my life when he walked into my heart, when he touched my heart, when my heart was filled with fire. And he started to work in my heart. And I believe that the Lord really wants to work in our heart about different people group. Just say Democrat, Republican, black, white, gay, lesbian, sinners, which Paul said he was the foremost of them. And he was a smart, he knew. He was the foremost of them. The Lord wants us to, we are not talking about the issue of sin. We are talking about the issue of our heart, that no matter what, we should never kick anybody out of our heart and say, Lord, I don't want any place in my heart for this group of people. I just want to lead them to you that they may invite you to their hearts. And the Lord would say, I'm just saying, really? You do not want to have these groups of people in your heart and you are expecting them to have me, Jesus, in their heart. See, <laughs> there is no judgment here. The, these things will, will change our perspective. There is no judgment in it. Again, you, I, I don't want you to judge yourself. I, I remember when the Lord would start to talk to me about the issue of my heart and what was going on in my heart. I remember I was so harsh into my heart and I just like, I would bring shame and guilt into my heart and say, why are you like this? One day in my prayer, the Lord very loud and clear spoke to my heart and said, Cameron, I don't just live in your heart. I am your heart. Be gentle with your heart. And I want to encourage you guys that if any truth Holy Spirit highlighted about your heart and the condition of your heart and the fact that you should invite more people into your heart, if the Lord is start to show you, do not judge yourself. The Lord will not judge our heart. He wants to work with our heart. To me, you know, everything to me comes out of the heart. Uh, eternity was planted in the heart of man. You know, God, when he comes, he comes to our heart. And he wants to make our heart this amazing place. It will take time. 
this amazing place that would be a heart of hospitality, the hospitality of Father's heart, that this heart would be always open to all different kinds of people. In this particular case, we are talking about Muslim people. Okay. After you watch the program, spend some time with your heart, talk to your heart, talk to the Lord. If you need to repent, please repent. I repent every day. And just get this heart ready for the rest of the course. This is so important to invite other people's group in our heart. Okay, now that I share that one, I want to share kind of the first step. There are seven steps in Heart for Muslim. There are, I'm sure there are many more steps, but I'm going to talk about seven steps that came to me. The very first one is called commit. Commit. This is how I see it. After you really deal with your heart, after you allow the Lord to soften your heart, after the, the love of those Muslim people or different groups of people that you want to just talk to them about Jesus and lead them to Jesus, when the love has started to fill your heart, then you go and ask your heart this question, or mine, but I would go to my heart. Why would you want to lead Muslim to the Lord? Let your heart talk to you. Would you commit to their commitment to Jesus? Would you commit to that? And then another question. How long would you commit? Is it three days, three months, three years, seven years, or a year? How long would you like to commit? Then your heart will say perhaps, hmm, I thought that I could just go and talk to them about Jesus in a week or something and give them some Bible and they could receive it or not. And I thought that that would be the case, that, ooh, then, yeah, sure, I will pray, I will pray for them for seven years. I'm just saying, if, if there is a specific Muslims that you want to lead to the Lord, or you may say, I don't know any Muslim, but I have a heart for them, Okay, how about you committing, just say, about seven years, if your heart said, to hear and there pray for them. That would be so amazing that all of us as the believers of Jesus Christ would allow Jesus Christ to tweak this heart to work way better in the land of love because this heart is like a vehicle in the land of love. It needs to be tweaked. It needs to be aligned, it needs to be oiled, you know. And then you could just go so fast in the land of love. We would all love to, to be able to travel in that land. It's here. Of course, it's here too. That's to renew the mind. But I'm a heart kind of a person. And I need this to be even more renewed. Because sometimes there is fight here. But I always go for this one because I know the Lord lives here. And if this one is right, you will have an upright walk with God. And you will start to love yourself and you will start to love other people. Until next program. Thank you so much for being with me and taking this journey with me. Love you guys.